wanted to get a video up. I made a video on Wednesday while I was at work explaining why I haven't made a video in a few weeks. But I don't want to upload that because it's really boring and depressing and I just don't think it's worth it. Long story short, I've been going through a lot recently. Lots of anxiety, lots of unmotivation to do anything. But it's getting better now, so here I am. Yeah, I'm not going to upload that video because there's really no need. Vlogmas failed. We're fine with that. I've accepted that. Let's move on. Today, I want to talk about something that I just literally five seconds ago just found really astounding. This watercolor kit that I got so kindly from my boyfriend for Christmas, it's really nice. I just want to talk about how nice it actually is. So if you're into watercolors, you should buy spice box. I don't know. Watercolor kits are usually not very good. They're kind of just like, you know, first rate, whatever. So this is what the inside looks like. This is totally product placement, by the way. <laughs> this is what the inside looks like. So it comes with all this stuff. I'm kind of like, all right, yeah, you know, the basics. Watercolor paper, paints. This is taking my video suck. Oh. This book, which, you know, I'm looking at it, and I'm like a step-by-step -step guide for art enthusiasts. Okay. You know, whatever. But I look at it, and I'm like, all right, you know, book that's just like, this is what paint is. This is how you use a brush. This is how you watercolor. It just totally wasn't like that at all. It goes into like, like how to properly set up your paper, which a watercolor book has never done before, which is, I guess, why I've never done it properly. I mean, I tape it down and stuff, but. So, wet it, like run it under water, wipe off the edges, tape it down, and then put a hair dryer over it, and that makes it like, so it actually doesn't wave at all. What? It's like, why don't people tell you this? Like, what? And it goes into, like, all these different techniques and stuff, but what I found really cool is it has, like, it goes into, like, how to properly mix paints, which no one has ever taught me how to do before. So me trying to, like, hit my computer so it didn't fall asleep, I hit the stop button. Anyway, I've been in, uh, several art classes. I'm in APR right now. Nobody has told me how to properly mix colors. I just kind of do things until it looks right. And if it goes too far, I do it again. And this one's like, yeah, you, you mix these colors to get those colors and so on and so forth. And how it's like, yeah, don't use white or black to lighten or dark things. I mean, use white, but don't use black to darken things. It's just good to saturate them. That I did know. And it basically goes it's like, here's how you do a monotone thing, which is what my concentration for art's gonna be, so that's cool. And like, different techniques for doing different things. And it's like, oh, here's some tools that you can use to make these kind of effects, like a toothbrush and sandpaper, and you know, all these really cool things. Oh, cool. All right, so all these nice things that you're telling me about that I won't, you know, get to do because I don't have any of those tools. Wrong again. Because this kit, comes with those things. It has like inking thing which it goes into talking about how different it can make when you go over it over the edges with ink after you paint basically instead of like before like you would do with the drawing you'd line it and then color it. Comes with like I'm like afraid to hold it up for fear of things falling out. Oh my god oh oh like that. All the paints just fell out. Pencils and it doesn't even come with a black, actually, so you can't even... Yeah, it doesn't even come with black, so you can't even use black, which is probably good, actually. It comes with gray and white. So let's just go through all these colors for, for a second. Alizarian Crimson. Cerulean Blue. Okay, that's like a, that's like a cyan color. Okay. Burnt Sienna. We all know what Burnt Sienna is. Burnt Umber, yep, okay. Ultramarine Blue, classic. For paints. Yellow Ochre, alright, yeah, I've heard that before. Cadmium Red, also heard that before. There's also Cadmium Yellow, where'd it go? Regardless. And then this last one. Hooker's Green. Hooker's, Hooker's Green. I'm not lying to you, that says Hooker's Green. Why? Why? What, what do hookers have to... Anyway, then it comes with watercolor pencils and tells you how to use those. A little sketch pad. Some sandpapery things. And a board. I don't actually know what this is. I'll have to read the book. 
Now, I'm telling you how great all of this is, and I haven't even used it yet. I've never used any of this yet. I just got it for Christmas, and I find it really neat that it actually has all these things in it. So that was the weird, unexpected video. This did something, right?